If you want to go from this Me hablar español to this Yo hablo español Then this video is for you. Hola, I'm Anna from How to Spanish and the podcast Dos con Todo. First of all, let me say thank you to my patrons on Dos con Todo webpage. You can find the link on the description box. Thank you guys. Welcome to another video of the series How to Sound More Like a Native Spanish Speaker. In today's video, I'm going to tell you the difference between the letters double L and Y. Let's begin. One L sounds in Spanish just like it sounds in English. For example, vale. But when you have a double L in Spanish, then you cannot pronounce this like if it was just one L. You need to make the sound of the J like in jeans. J. For example, valle. Valle. Let's practice. Ella. Lluvia. Calle. Now, letter Y is called Y or Y in Spanish. Makes exactly the same sound as double L. For example, yo. Let's practice. Yo. Ya. Vaya. Yo, ya, vaya. It's important for me to tell you that these letters can have different sounds depending on the country. Now, I taught you the way that Mexicans say it and a lot of other countries, but there are two more sounds that could work with this pair of letters. One of them is E, for example, yo. The other one is like saying sh and this is more common in the area of Argentina and other countries that are near Argentina. For example, show. Now, let me show you two words and I'm going to pronounce them with the three pronunciations that we learned today. The first one, lluvia, lluvia, lluvia. Next one, ya. Yeah. Sha. You can pick any of those three combinations, but my recommendation is to pronounce it like we do in Mexico because I believe that it's easier to understand and even easier for you to say. Just make sure that you pick one and that you stick with that one because people will get used to listening to you saying words in a certain way and you don't want them to be mixed up. Finally, let's read this sentence together to practice. Ella se llama Judy. Ella se llama Judy. Good job. Now, let me know on the comments which word was the easiest and the most difficult for you to say. Also, I have a question for you. I want you to let me know on the comments which of the three sounds that I taught you today you are planning to use and why. Let me know which one you like the best and why you chose it. Also, hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so that you get notified when I upload more videos. And please like this video if you liked it and share it with someone who needs it. Gracias, adios.